Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn a hacker rank problem titled plus minus. This is a very simple problem. And while solving this particular problem, we will try to do it in a very basic way. Plus, I will also try to solve it using one of the built in functions of C called as count and countif. So, let us try to read the question and try to understand what the question says and then what we need to do. It. The question says that given an array of integers, calculate the fraction of its elements that are positive, negative and are zeros and print the decimal value of each fraction on new line. Right? Try to read the input again, try to understand more better. Basically, if this assume that if the give the array like this, which has five elements, here there are two positive. The first and second element is positive, right? So there are two positive elements out of five, right? So two by five is 0 0.4. We need to print this. The number of negative elements out here is again 2, minus 1 and minus 1, the last two elements. So again, number of negative elements is like 2 divided by total number of elements, 2 by 5. So the fraction is 0 0.4. The number of 0 elements is only 1. The third element is 0. So 1 out of 5, so you should print 0 0.2. Right? A quite a simple problem. Okay. Now, if you want, you can also look into this particular example here. How many positives are here? 3 is a positive, 4 is a positive, 1 is a positive. 3 positive elements out of 6, so it is 0 0.5. And there are 2 negative elements, minus 4 and minus 9, right? So 2 out of 6 is 33% or 0 0.33 fractions. And then there is only 1, 0. Fine. Now let's try to solve this particular problem. I have written the code to read the number of elements and read the elements of an array. Now, to solve this problem, to count the number of positives, negatives and zero, I will try to use variables like count positive. This will keep track of all the positives and then another variable count negative this will keep track of all the negative elements and then count zeros this will keep track of all the zeros initially everything is set to zero then i need to scan the entire array and if uh, while scanning element i need to verify the individual element of an array if it is positive or it is negative or it is 0. If it is greater than 0, it is positive. So, I will just increment the number of positives. If it is less than 0, I will increment the number of negatives. Otherwise, if it is not positive or negative, I will just write zeros is increment and once we do this we just need to calculate the fraction that is total number of elements okay and how many positives are there with respect to total number of elements right and since there is a division involved out here there is a possibility that the result will be in fraction or you can just see we have seen the input that the value is like 0 0.4 0 0.5 and all so there will be fractions so i'd like to take up the result right like positive fractions right the number of positives divided by n the same way i'd like to do it for negative fractions as well as zero fractions this is negative this is zeros right 
and this is negative and this is zero. Fine, and then we just need to print. So just try to print this percentage F. First, we need to print the positives. Then, if you want, you can print in the same line or different line. I'll try to print it in different line itself. This negatives fractions. This is right now. Everything seems to be fine, right? So let's try to run this and try to understand is this properly working or not. Let me keep the input at one side, right? And then let me try to compile. The file name is called as plus minus. The number of elements is six. Sorry, I need to run this. The number of elements is 6 and the elements are minus 4, 3, minus 9, 0, 4 and 1. Right? Oh, we are getting everything as zeros. So we need to identify what might have gone wrong. And the best way to understand is try to print intermediate results. Was there a problem in the calculations of number of positives, negatives or is there a problem with respect to calculating the fractions? So I'd like to print the number of positives, negatives and zeros. So I'd like to observe that if that has been captured properly or not. And since these are integers, I'd like to use percentage D. And these are positives. This is negatives. Right, any meaningful other messages also if you want to add up, fine. So let me try to print this first. These are the positives, these are the negatives, and these are zeros. Right, now I want to verify this. Compile it, fine. Run this. Let's take the input once more. 6 minus 4, 3 minus 9, 0, 4 and 1. At least from this what we learnt is there is no problem with respect to counting the positives, negatives and zeros. There is a problem in calculations of the fractions. Now, what could be the problem in calculating the fractions here, right? I hope you might have observed this, this statement explicitly. If you observe this is an integer, this is also an integer. And if you perform integer divided by an integer, it performs integer division. It does not perform floating point division, right? Now, if I say 2 divided by 6, it will not be 0 0.33, it will be 0 because it performs integer division. So if you want floating point division, one of the operands should be float. So I'm going to explicitly typecast it here to float. The main objective of this particular program itself was to demonstrate the need of typecasting. Right? Now we can go ahead and recompile the code. And then let's try to enter this. Perfect. Right. Now you can take the code and then put it in the HackerRank platform and check out that is this working fine or not. And is it passing all the test cases. Remember, we do not require this message. We are commenting this. And these intermediate values also, if you want, you can comment it or you can remove it. Now I'd like to run this code. Fine. So if you want, you can 
submit this everything is passed this is a very simple problem right so if i just remove this code and if i just try to remove this line this is the code which is required read discount and after that calculate the fractions and then print it this is too simple a problem to do and i had done this uh, with multiple steps to demonstrate the need of typecasting right now there is another way in which you can do it using c++ library function called as count and countif right so those functions are basically available in a header file called as algorithm so i'll try to include the algorithm now what you wrote here the loop instead of writing the loop here we'll try to take the help of the function if you want to know the number of zeros or number of positives or negatives we'll just try to take the help of the library function there is a library function called as count which is used to count how many times a particular key element is present the number of arguments to be passed is 3 and the first argument is base address of an array second argument is the end address of an array which has base address plus the number of elements third argument is the key element what you want to search and i want to search how many zeros are there this will do my job whereas for negatives i just cannot say i want only minus 1 negatives again are a lot of set of elements positives are again okay a set of elements from 1 to the maximum value of integer right so for that i cannot take the help of count i have one more function called as count underscore if the first two arguments are same the third argument should be a predicate function you need to basically write a function right and then pass that as an argument it's going to verify with every element okay applying this function if that function it is true it will count it otherwise it will not count so let us try to write a function which only verifies if a given number is positive and one more function which verifies if the given number is negative so i'll just try to write here boolean is positive if the number is positive return true this will automatically return true if the number is positive otherwise returns false and then negative anything less than 0 right so i can just pass on the function address here and then here i can pass on is right now if you want to reduce the number of lines directly you can just perform divide by n but please do remember the count returns a new integer value and is also an integer value so one out it has to be float either the numerator or denominator so you can just convert either numerator to float or denominator to float and then don't capture this into integer variable you can directly capture into this variables or you can directly print it so i can just use this printf and i can say this is my overall argument this is just reducing the number of lines but if you find it difficult you can always split this into multiple lines and then try to do it same here
right? We don't require this. What a simple code, right? So let's try to verify this. But yes, uh, whenever you want to refer to the standard library functions, we have to use using namespace std here, or we have to use std scope position operator here, right? You can just write std scope position operator. If you are writing this, then we don't require this using namespace std. But this particular part. Okay, we'll improve the readability telling that, okay, this count is from a standard namespace, right? I would preferably follow this rather than using this one. Fine. Now, let's try to compile this. Please remember, this is a C++ program because we have used algorithm and counter which is C++ construct. So, I'd like to compile this with G++ command. The file name is same. I'd like to run this and then give the same input. Since I've removed the printf statement to print the number of elements, this match is not appearing, but it's reading the value of n, 6, then minus 4, 3, minus 9, 0, 4, 1. We got this, right? Now, if you want, you can take this particular code and put it in hacker rank, but make sure that you basically select C++ and not C. Don't worry in case if there are a lot of additional things and all, right? So you can just remove that code and you can just place our code. But if you select C, then it will not work because this is a C++ construct. Fine. So the main things what we learned out here is the necessity for typecasting then we also learned about how to use count underscore if function of C++ thank you